welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanted to talk about the programming languages you should learn in 2022 for cloud computing. Let's go. Because I didn't want to just give you a list of programming languages and nothing else, let me tell you about the data I use to evaluate those languages and I'm going to show it to you for every single one of those languages. So the first criteria is the average salary for developer in this programming language in the US. The second one is how many job openings there are using that programming language. The third one is the ranking of the language on the PIPO index, which is ranking programming languages based on how many searches for tutorials in that language are happening at any given time. The fourth one is do major cloud providers support this programming language in their SDKs. And the fifth one is what type of programming can you do with those programming languages? So can you do front end, back end, analytics, desktop programming? Hey, editing Carolyn here. So when I say you can't do something with a certain programming language, it doesn't mean it's impossible. It just means it's not a very common use case for this language to be used in this faction. And therefore it's not a very likely thing that you will get a job doing this type of programming with this programming language. Now, technically, yes, you can do anything with any programming language. You could technically run Google off of Microsoft Excel. It is technically possible to do it, but it's not something anybody will ever do. So those are all the criteria I use to research those programming language and give you this list. Before we start, I want to add one programming language for my administrator friends because all the other programming languages are for developers. For my administrator friends, you should learn PowerShell. There are a lot of opening, 22,000. It's hard to find a PowerShell developer job. So I looked for sysadmin and administ cloud administrator and things like that. So we're looking at a salary in the range of the $90,000 range, which is pretty nice. It's not listed on the PIPO index, but it is supported by all three major cloud providers, you can do scripting, you can't really do front end, you can do back end, you can do desktop, uh, you can do data analytics, though it's very slow and I would not recommend it. But that's why PowerShell is here, just not ranked. All right, the first programming language in this list is PHP. The average salary for a PHP developer is about $79,000. There are about 15,000 jobs opening it is ranked number six on the PIPO index, which is pretty nice. It is supported by all three major cloud providers. The only thing you can't really do with it is desktop programming and data analytics. All right, the next one is TypeScript. Now TypeScript, JavaScript, they're very close to each other, but uh, TypeScript itself, the salary is about $85,000 a year for a TypeScript developer with 19,000 jobs opening. You can use it for everything. So front end, back end, desktop with Electron and uh, analytics. It is supported by all three major cloud providers. So it's very good to learn. The next one is C Sharp at $88,000 as an average salary. It has 90,000 job openings. It can be used for everything from desktop to analytics, though analytics, I couldn't really find good things on that, but it's used for everything. It is supported by all three major cloud providers and it's ranked number four on the PIPO index. Next is C++ at $89,000 and 77,000 job opening. It's used for everything except front end. As a matter of fact, I used C++ for big data analytics. It's a very good language and it is supported by all three major cloud provider. And it's number five on the PIPO index. Next is JavaScript. So JavaScript has an average salary of $90,000. The amount of jobs out there right now is 120,000 job openings for JavaScript. It is ranked number three on the PIPO index. It can be used to do anything. It's like whatever you can dream of, you can do. It is supported by all three major cloud providers. And yeah, 
JavaScript. Totally worth learning. Then we have Java at $93,000 with 145,000 job openings. It can do anything but front end. It is ranked number two on the PIPO index and it is supported by all three major cloud providers. So really good idea to learn Java. All right, and now in the number one spot, we have Python. The average salary for a Python developer is $96,000. It can be used for anything but the front end. It is number one on the PIPO index. It has 181,000 job openings and it is supported by all three major cloud providers. So if there's one programming language you should learn to make money, to have opportunities, it's Python. So if you're wondering where you can find this data, well, in the description, there is a link that links to the table of all this data that I just gave you. All right, let me know in the comments below which programming language you're going to learn in 2022 and come back at the end of 2022 and tell me how that went. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So which programming language are you going to learn in? Huh? You wanna learn Python? You wanna learn Python? Or you just wanna smell me? You're like, mom, mom, I, I get I get free rent, I get free food. All I have to do is cuddle with you. Why would I wanna learn a programming language? That's true. Very true.